my channel. Today I am going to be showing you what I got Aubrey for her back to school stuff. I got her some supplies, of course. She has to have supplies. And everybody knows that kids always grow over the school year. So I did get her a few new outfits as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Oh, and by the way, I do have Aubrey here with me today. So she's gonna help me show you guys some of the stuff that I got. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with her school clothes. Okay, so one of the first things we picked up were a pair of jeans from Hollister. Hollister is her favorite place to get jeans. She wears a 25 in Hollister, a 25-28. So that's what we picked up and she wanted to get at least one light pair this school year. So we got these at Kohl's, just a green pair, which is different for her. She usually just likes to be plain and wear black and gray and white and stuff like that. Kind of like I was when I was in school. So I was really excited when she decided to pick up this pair of um, green skinny jeans. And this is by the brand Mud. And then we got her a pair of jeggings. And these are also from Kohl's. I actually found some really good deals at Kohl's this time. And these are in a size three, so she's wearing juniors now, which is crazy. I have a little preteen on my hands, so. So that's three pair of actual, like, jeans, pants that we got her. So she wants me to do all the talking, but she's just here for moral support and if I ask her any questions. So we did get her three pair of leggings because she likes leggings. She's going to be doing some gymnastics this year. Um, after school. So we got this pair of black leggings. You know, everybody needs a pair of black leggings. We got these from Justice. And then we also went to Rue 21 and got two pair, just these. And then she also got a gray pair as well. So she's all set on leggings this year. Okay, next we will move on to the shirts that I got her. And she did get a good amount of shirts this year. So the first one is one that she's wearing. Do you want to stand up just a little bit? It's just this kind of oversized shirt she got it from Hollister. It looks so cute on her, y'all. And she loved it so much, and I loved it so much, that she decided to get a second one in gray. So I really like that. Those are both from Hollister. And then this shirt, she's a, she's a big fan of the shirts that are tying right here. We got this one at Kohl's. I thought that was cute. And then some of these sweaters are your favorite, aren't they? So we love to wear sweaters around the house. So we we're kind of excited that fall's coming because we just love sweaters. So we stopped by H&M and this sweater was only $5. And it just says Los Angeles, California. It's kind of like a crop top, but she can wear it to school because it is long enough to where it doesn't show her belly or anything. So we picked that one up, only $5. And then we picked up this one that says Raised by Unicorns. Does that mean I'm a unicorn? No. I guess I'm a unicorn. This so. little sweater. And it was $12.99. It was also from H&M. And then we got a few more shirts for her. We got... This little shirt that ties that says legendary on it. This one was from Rue 21. I really like this one. And then another one from Rue 21, which I was really excited that she got because it does show some color, is this one. It's kind of like tie-dye and then has stripes on the sleeves. And then, as you can tell, she loves stripes. So another one with stripes and a red collar. And this one was also from Rue 21. Okay, next is going to be shoes. We picked up these Adidas for her from TJ Maxx, which I was really excited about. These were only $34.99 at TJ Maxx. And the last pair of Adidas she has, she has the rose gold bought these as well, and they were like $70. So when I saw these for $34.99, I was like, try these on now, because I know you've been wanting a pair like this. And they had her size, so I was really excited. So we went ahead and got this pair. Yeah, we were choosing between seven and a half and seven. Yeah, and we were like struggling because we couldn't, she didn't have on her other Adidas in the store. And we didn't know what size she was, what size her other Adidas were. So we were just trying them on, hoping that we got the right size. Well, we got a different size actually. But they fit her better than the other ones. So that works out good for us. She is a shoe girl. Like she loves shoes. Like. She would wear a different pair of shoes every day if I'd let her. 
Okay, and then we also got her a pair of Vans. This is her first pair of Vans, which I'm really excited about. I would wear these too if they fit me. She almost wears the same size as me, but not quite. So this is the kind of Vans we got her this year. And they're just gray and they'll pretty much match everything, which I'm glad that we got two pair of shoes for her that would pretty much match anything that she wears. Okay, so before we start with school supplies, I wanna ask Aubrey, what is your favorite thing that you got out of all your clothes? Um, probably this. It's comfy and I like the green color. And when we were trying to find bathing suits, I was really into this color. Okay, next we're gonna do all her school supplies and the first thing we're gonna show is her book bag. So she just got this Jansport book bag and what really caught our eye about it is it does have a laptop case that's included and she will be going into the fifth grade. So a laptop case is perfect for her because they actually give them a laptop to use for the school year. So it will work out perfect. And then we just picked up her lunchbox today actually from TJ Maxx. It was only $6.99 and it's just this cat and I think it's really cute. It's velvet and it says Kenzie girl on it, which is funny because her middle name is Mackenzie, just like mine. Okay, so next she needed six composition notebooks and this was honestly pretty hard because my six year old going into first grade also needed six composition notebooks and you know, they're girls, they want something cute and we struggled and struggled and struggled to find something cute. And we got all the school supplies from Walmart and I finally were, I was digging in the back and I was like, jackpot. I found this huge box of all these girly composition notebooks. So I was like, yes, finally. So let me show you what we got. The first one she got is this one. It's got the rose gold or the gold on the side and just says notes. And then she got another one with the gold on the side. I love this one. This one's probably my favorite. And then another gold. I really like this one too. This one right here. This one also says notes on it. And then just this elephant. This is one of the first ones we found. It's kind of like iridescent. It's pretty cute. And then just a plain black and white one, which I thought this was really cute too. So she needed three packs of pencils and two of the packs are right here. She just got some regular pencils because the teachers do recommend that she get some regular pencils. She does like lead pencils, so we picked up some of those. And I could not find the other brand of pencils that teachers recommend. It starts with a T. I can't remember what it is. You can leave it down below if you know what I'm talking about. But we went ahead and picked these up. And then of course they needed some blunt tip scissors. So she got these cute pink ones. Then dry erase markers, of course. Some highlighters. And some, what are these? Index cards. Okay, next we got some lead pencils because she does like to use lead pencils, like I said. She got this cute, I don't even know what, what's on this. I think it's a panda. A panda or something. It's a pencil case and she can just put it in her binder. Yeah, she needed 10 glue sticks. So we got 10 glue sticks. She needed one, one one inch binder with the plastic on it. Two packs of colored pencils. And this was not on her list, but she asked me if I'd get her some white out. And I said, yeah, what the heck. Okay, and then she also needed two folders, so we got this black one, which is really cute. And I found this one at TJ Maxx in a five pack, and it's just got some pineapples on it. Okay, and then we have this ruler, and she also needed a pack of pens, different color pens, so we went ahead and went with the Paper Mate. I didn't wanna do gel pens because gel pens do bleed through, even though she wanted gel pens. And then of course, you can't go back to school without a pack of paper. And she did get the college rolled this year. Okay, Aubrey, so out of all the school supplies you got, what was your favorite? Uh, I kind of like like um, the, one of the notebooks, the co Marvel composition books, because um, we found those in the back. Thank you guys so much for watching this video with me and Aubrey showing all of her back to school stuff. I'm so excited for her to start the fifth grade. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. I will also have Ansley's back to school haul for first grade coming up next week. So don't forget to watch that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.